Hey everyone, long time no see and everything, but I've got exams, blah blah blah, whatever. After Christmas, we're going to be back to normal. So, today, I'm coming at you with a pretty cool video. Um, I When I bought this G3, as you know, I bought it for the keyboard and mouse to sell with my Macintosh SE. And that's on eBay at the moment, as, um, as I'm sure you've seen on Twitter. But I want to keep the G3. And I wanted to keep it, but I had no clue what I could use it for. Because, I mean, G3s can barely handle iTunes anymore. That's how severe uh, the support for them has gone. So, I came up, I've come up with a brilliant idea. And I hope it's going to work well. I am going to install Mac OS X Panther on this machine. Because I believe that's the soft spot for G3s. Um, if you install Tiger, I think that's going a bit too... Well, maybe not for some of the quicker iMacs and stuff, but definitely for these older Power Macs. Tiger is a bit too demanding. I mean, I don't know. Panther is the sweet spot, in my opinion, and um, a few other people think the same as me. So, you might be shocked, guys, but I actually have a legitimate version of Panther to install on this machine, which is pretty awesome. Um, I've had it for a while, and I'm going to put it to good use. So yeah, I'm going to pop Panther on here, and you might be thinking, what am I going to use it for? Well, I'm going to, um, via Firewire, plug in my 750 gig external hard drive, and I will be, I don't know how I can put this into appropriate words, using this to share files with other people on the internet, let's put it like that, okay, you can figure out what I mean. Um, rather than clogging up my main Mac with all that stuff, that's what I'll be using this one for, and everything that I download will be going straight to the external hard drive, um, rather than the internal, because I don't want to put a big internal ID hard disk in here, it's pointless. So, oh, and by the way, also, um, I am hoping to get a 2 terabyte external hard drive, um, just a simple USB 2.0 one. I'll get a USB 2.0 card for this eventually. Um, then I'll run Time Machine from my main Mac um, and hopefully other Macs, like my Mac upstairs, I'll, all, I'll run time, time Machine to that partitioned 2 terabyte external hard disk um, through the G3 um, by using file sharing and stuff like that. But anyway guys, um, yeah, that's about it. Let's get on with it. I'm gonna just show you a little bit around the G3 first, just in case we've all forgotten. But yeah, G3, we're gonna install Panther. It's gonna be a laugh. So thanks for watching and let's get on with the video. So guys, here is the G3 itself. Um, I'm not gonna open it up. You've seen my previous video on it. Um, basically, it's a 400 megahertz G3, single of course. Um, it's got 896 megs of RAM, something like that. It's got three 256s and one 128. Um, I'll be taking out the 128 and getting a 256. I'll actually order that later on so I don't forget. It's very cheap. It's about £7 with about £2 postage on eBay. Um, in here we've got a super drive, which is actually very nice for a G3. Um, it's a super drive. There is a USB card in this machine, but I believe it's um, USB 1.1. And that's about it for this machine. Oh, and the hard disks. Um, I've got a 20 gig hard disk in there running OS 9.2. And I've added an additional 20 gigabyte hard disk to run Panther. So 40 gigs in total, two separate hard drives. You might be thinking, you know, why don't you have a 40 gig and partition it, blah, blah, blah. Well, I like to... I, I, I could do that. It's very, very easy, very possible to do that. I like having two separate hard disks. I can pull out operating systems physically and hold them in my hand. So yeah, call me weird, but I wanted two hard disks. And um, as well, OS 9, 9.2 was also uh, very stable on that 20 gig hard disk. And I didn't want to go messing around with that by trying to c clone it over to another hard disk or something like that. Because I don't have any OS 9 install disks. But anyway, let's get up to the rest of the setup. Um, here is my main desk that you've all seen before. Um, and here is the setup. We've just got a coaster there which I use for cups of tea and coffee and drinks and whatever. Um, here is the 
Apple USB keyboard, the one that came with the G3 and um, all the iMacs and different colours and stuff. It's blue on the bottom, as you can see. It was very hard for me to get a hold of this, um, but as soon as I saw one, an auction for one, I got it for £2.77 or something like that, which is an absolute steal. I love this keyboard. It's really nice. It feels really nice. I like the keys. I got the puck mouse, little hockey puck. It's also blue, so it's all matching appropriately, which is really nice. And lots of people don't like this mouse, but I think it's fine. Got a VW Campervan money box, using my Dell 15 inch, um, which I have cleaned the screen of. Well, I've kind of attempted to clean it. Um, it would be really nice to have one of those Apple 15 inch studio displays, the TFT ones. Um, I did see one on eBay for buy it now, £50, which is a steal because they're so rare, but it had no power adapter, and I believe it uses a proprietary power adapter, which is a shame. But anyway, um, here we have just like a shake-up lava lamp. It's just random ornaments sitting here. 750 gig um, Western Digital Firewire hard drive, and this is the battery charger for my camera. So yeah, this is the setup, and yeah, let's get Panther installed on here. So hopefully that's a good view for you guys. Um, I don't know if you know this, but um, OS 9 actually prompts you to install Mac OS 10, which is quite cool. Um, here is the window for the CD that's open. You've got all the folders and whatnot, but you can actually hit install right within OS 9. And it says Mac OS 10, and you can restart to install, which I think is pretty cool um, for, you know, the fourth version of Mac OS X to still include something like that for OS 9, which is great. So it took a little bit of persuasion, but we are there booting up into the disk. So here we are, Mac OS X. It's preparing the installation. Let me just move my chair up a little bit closer. There you go, you've got the menu bar. Okay, so use English. Continue. Welcome to Mac OS X Installer. Already looking nice and retro with the old iChat icon there. Continue. System requirements. Sorted. 1 to 8 megs of RAM. Continue. Agree. Okay. Now here you can see the two hard disks, they're 20 gigs each. This is the OS 9 one, and this is the one that I added for OS 10 that I conveniently named OS 10. Um, we're doing an erase and install. We'll erase the drive once again, um, just to be sure. Mac OS 10, continue. We're going to customize the installation. Um, so additional applications. Let's take a little look in here. We do not want iPhoto, iMovie, or we don't want ancient version of iTunes, no thank you. We'll have to have Internet Explorer, um, stuff at Expander, that could be quite handy I guess. Uh, printer drivers, we're going to keep these on here just in case I connect a printer to this Mac and I want to use it on the network or something, but we will not have them. We will not have Hewlett Packard, we'll just stick with the basics. I can always reinstall the printer drivers. Uh, font, additional Asian font, Pfft, no way, uh, language, no thank you, and we will have X11, just for the fun of it. Install, checking your installation disk, we're going to skip that, preparing the disk, maybe it means the hard disk, not sure. Okay, so looks like it's doing its thing. So guys, the Mac has randomly restarted. Um, I think it was meant to do that. I wasn't actually watching the installer. So time will tell. Let's have a little look after it boots up. See if it wants disk 2 or something like that. So here it goes back into the installer. This is hell of a lot different to installing a modern Mac, or Mac operating system. 
I've installed Tiger quite a few times before and that seemed to go very similar to Leopard and Snow Leopard but this seems to be very different. Okay, so it's ejected the disc and it says please insert the Mac OS X installed disc 2. That is really cool. Okay, so it ejected it for us. Let's just pop in the second one. So guys, it's asking for install disc 3, which is pretty cool. So it ejected it for us again and I'm going to pop in install disc 3. And here we go, it's doing its thing. Here you have it guys, it's done, it's just going to automatically quit any second now. And it spat out the disc as well, so there's no disc in the machine now, and it's just restarting, which is pretty cool. The music's really quiet, but it's there. Awesome, awesome. That's the first time I've seen the Panther installer in person. That is wicked. That is really cool. Uh, do not transfer my information. This is all average stuff that we're used to. It actually lagged a bit, which is quite funny. Probably because of the very, very weak graphics card in this machine. It's the Rage 128. Um, to my Apple ID, I might as well, there's nothing stopping me. So it's asking if it can get my information from Apple. Yes, it can. Go for it, have a little look. Your Apple ID information is not available at this time. Uh, continue. Oh, great. First name Tom. Last name Smith. Company email. Don't have one. Email. Phone number, address, city. Right, I'll go and enter all this, guys. So I've entered all that. Where will you be most using this computer? Home, what will you be using it for? Oh my god. We're just gonna hit other. Um, I would like to receive Apple news, no thank you. Don't feel like getting spammed by Apple at this moment in time. Create your account. Um, Tom Smith, short name, Tom Smith. Um, we're gonna have Tom. Password. Verify. Um, let's pick leaves. Get internet ready. I'd like free trial with. No. I'm not ready to connect to the internet. I'll use my existing internet service. Uh, local network ethernet, I guess. Local area network, yes, no change. Network configuration computer was obtained automatically from a Do you want to use Yeah, go for it. Get.mac. Uh, I'll set it up later doesn't even exist anymore. You're now ready to connect. Connecting. Talk about a lot of steps, guys. Set up mail. We don't want to do that, actually. Time zone. London. Continue. Thank you! Finally, go! And here we have it. Panther. Nice. Let's get the res sorted. Oh, great. Software update's gonna prompt me about 8 million. Oh, God. Look at that, guys. It's crazy. First of all, so we can actually fit some things on the screen. There we go. That's a bit better. So guys, I'm just doing all the updates now. Panther seems to be very smooth. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.